Hey all, welcome to my new video. I am George Schlackeg. The one and only. Usually I make videos about bicycle touring, cycling and bicycles. I'm quite passionate about that. But this video is different. We have very cold winters in Edmonton. Cycling can be dangerous due to slippery roads and trails. Driving is just as dangerous and in the long run very damaging to our environment, which is something you can see all around you, probably in almost any North American city. Those cities that have a commuter train, like Edmonton's LRT for example, have another great option. Or do they? Edmonton is where I live and it shall be the example here. But there are countless other cities with similar problems and transit systems. The scenario is definitely transferable. Edmonton is expanding its LRT. Hundreds of millions are being spent right now to improve the reach of the system. I'm a big fan of the LRT so Please don't take this video the wrong way because what I'm about to tell you won't sound very positive. Edmonton's existing LRT is going to hell. People are afraid to take it or they're just tired of the abuse they witness when they do. Ridership is down to those who either don't have many choices or those people I'm going to talk about here and they're drug addicts looking for a warm place to shoot up, smoke their crack pipe, or spend time while passed out. For anyone else using the train, those people are wrecking the experience. And what's more, they're making it unsafe. The city has security guards in all the stations, but those people don't have a handle on the problem. It definitely isn't enough to make the LRT a good option for commuting. Yes, I know. I've recommended the train to supplement your commute. And I still like the idea, but to be perfectly honest, I don't do it and I'm not sure if I would. This video shows drug use in public. You may even recognize someone. But please, don't condemn those people because the reality is that the problem runs deep. We don't get to know the whole story of the people who end up using and become dependent on drugs. It is probably safe to assume that for the most part they are victims of circumstances they couldn't tolerate. None of them are living the dream. Those are people who desperately need help whether they will admit to it or not. The Alberta government has pulled funding for safe consumption sites arguing that they contribute to the problem. Their strategy is to ignore a growing problem. It is costing us dearly. For all practical purposes, it has already cost us our LRT. What's next? Our schools? Your children? I went on a little adventure the other day. Not sure if there was much of a point. I'm an amateur at best when it comes to this kind of reporting, but here it is. In order to record some of what I've witnessed many times, I had to find a way to conceal my camera. This is my first time doing this, so what do you think? All right, we're in Edmonton, it's a Friday, Friday morning, and I'm going to pretend I am a commuter today. I was just about two weeks or so ago I made a video about the LRT. I recommended the LRT to uh, supplement your commute to work or to school, your daily commute when the weather is bad and you don't want to or can't ride your bicycle all the way. Now today I'm going back on the LRT because I want to show the downside of it and to capture that I have concealed a camera on me 
I don't know how good this is gonna work. <laughs> you may not get to see this video if there is no result, but in recent weeks, Barbara and I have ridden the LRT quite a bit together, and it's almost every trip that we do, we see somebody uh, use drugs on LRT property, whether that be in the station or on the train itself. Like, there's weird stuff going on on the LRT, and I, I can understand anyone who doesn't really want to take it for that reason. So, I just want to show what I see today. I'm going to pretend I'm a commuter, like I said. So, wish me luck. Less than two seconds after walking through the door at Coliseum Station, I see this guy. What do you think he's doing? False assumption on my part? Maybe. Let's just move on. Here's something important. If you ever do get assaulted at an LRT station, look for an emergency phone like this one. So I boarded the train at Coliseum Station. A little side note here Coliseum Station is where I boarded the train. Next stop, Stadium Station. Hmm. Next stop, Stadium Station. The next stop was actually Churchill Station. Locals know, but if somebody is new to the city, they'll get lost. Stadium. Definitely a maintenance issue. Easy to fix, I would think. Hi. Okay, so maybe my trip was pointless. There's security patrolling the station, and it is quiet. What could I possibly find? It appears that I missed an act of vandalism by just a few seconds. The guy just kicked the ATM machine. The security guard didn't seem overly concerned. Hi. Hi. I wasn't really sure what this was for, but there was this smell. I left Churchill Station on one side just to go back in on another. And sure enough, I find a group of people consuming what appears to be crack or meth. Maybe you know her. Are you security? No, they're just cleaning it. There are people cr smoking crack up there. Yeah, are you already on it? Apparently, the janitor is very annoyed. Are you guys security? Um, she is. Are you aware that there's people in the entrance of the wind spear that are smoking crack in the inside the, uh, the stairwell? Yeah. Okay, thank you. 
here's another train, but it's going back to where I came from, and I want to go a little bit further to see what else I can witness. It's only a few minutes, and there's another train. Unfortunately, my camera was pointing downward, but if you look carefully, you can see people turning around because of what they hear. And here comes a security guard, not the least bit concerned, apparently. Well, he's just getting the syringe ready. Somehow I don't think they belong here. So I went outside, walked down the street, crossed the street, and then went back down into the LRT station. And so I witnessed another person getting ready for her next fix. Security? Ah, what's the point? Back down to the station I go. Possible overdose here? No, apparently he's alive. Central Station. <laughs> and then I sit down across from this person. The smell could only mean one thing. He peed himself.
I know what I saw. Here's a person inspecting his crack pipe. Apparently, the camera was still running just as I got out of the station. I just shut it off. There is enough on there for my video. And I hope this is going to make a difference in the long run because I believe that uh, there are opportunities to turn the situation around. Of course, we have other problems in the province and in the country right now but <laughs> this is important this makes our whole society go to hell if it's not already gone that way this uh, I, I thought it was very important to bring this up thanks for watching and well good luck if you're taking the train if I can go ride trains and walk around LRT stations for just about one hour and witness this much drug use and other kind of abuse, all the while security is present and obviously not very effective, then you know the real problem is way out of control. We have a public health emergency here and it's not the current pandemic. Please share this video, call your city councillor and your member of parliament. Something drastic needs to be done. This is your world and your city too. See you soon.